Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a dual reservoir master cylinder upgrade on the 3B. So let's get into it. Okay y'all, so what I've got here, this is a later model CJ5 pedal assembly. Uh, it came off a of 67 CJ5. And it's really cool because it's all one unit. So we got our master cylinder, we've got the mounting bracket for it, and then we got our swing pedals. And it's all supported within one assembly. It all came off as one assembly. And I think in conjunction with the new master cylinder I bought, this should make a pretty clean looking dual reservoir master cylinder kit for the 3B with hopefully minimal to no modifications to like this bracket. I've got uh, the stock push rod. I've also got a universal push rod. I'm gonna take all this apart and see what I need to do to make this work. Also something cool about the later mold, um, you can see the, the pivot point that goes under the frame. This is a bolt-on and it, it actually like clamps to this bracket. On the earlier 3As, 2As, 3Bs, that actually like welds and rivets to your frame. So that might be something I end up having to cut off. I don't know, maybe we can, I can reuse it, but uh, we're gonna find out. So let's get this broke down and we'll see what we're working with. Okay, so I got it all tore apart, and this is the piece that I was after the most. So this is what the new master cylinder is gonna mount to. This is my new master cylinder. I wanna say it's uh, some kind of AMC part number. I don't know if it's specifically for a Jeep, but the holes line up, it's got the right spread on it. Um, and digging through forums, this is one that was suggested. You can spend all day reading about this and you'll get 10 different opinions, but um, this is the one I went with but uh, there's a few little things on this bracket. I'm gonna obviously gonna clean it up. This little piece is gonna have to be replaced. Um, but let me run over to the Jeep and I'll show y'all how this is gonna work. Okay, so I've still got the stock 3B uh, swing pedal set up on here. But let me show y'all what we're gonna have to change and how to make this work. So this little piece that I mentioned that we're gonna have to replace, this is what's actually gonna go on the end of this shaft right here. And that's what supports the um, outside of this assembly. And then these uh, riveted holes, let me scoot this out. These two riveted holes hold the underside. So I'm gonna have to uh, cut these rivets off. I think this is welded too. I'm gonna swap over that other one. And then these two holes will line up with that. And all I'll have to do, um, besides cutting that bracket off, I'll have to drill these two top holes. So it's not a ton of modification. It'll still look stock and we'll have a dual reservoir master cylinder. Okay, so here's what I've got. This is the new bracket and the old one. I threw a little paint on this and I just cut this out with a hole saw off camera. 
but I think it looks pretty close. And then let me come over here to the Jeep and show y'all what we've got. Okay, so this is what we've got over here on the Jeep. So I threw a little paint on this. I went ahead and bolted the master cylinder on uh, just to make sure everything fit. So I did end up, um, you know, your bracket normally goes here. I had to take that off. And then this particular master cylinder, I had to take just this little sliver out and then down in here, uh, I had to make a little notch, but uh, a different master cylinder might fit better than that and you might not have to do that. So, and then of course, uh, this little piece I just made, it's just gonna go in right like that and hold our pedal assembly up. And then as far as the pedal assembly, uh, like I said, it's welded. So I ended up just taking the air chisel to those rivets and I just left the original one on there and bolted it up. Everything fit great. What's left to do is the two mounting bolts that go right here. I gotta figure out where those are at and punch those in and put this on and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so went ahead and got that little uh, support bracket bolted in. I've got my two mounting bolts on top here now. So the next thing to cover is the push rod and we'll go back over to the table and talk about that. So here's the three different push rod styles. This is original 3B, universal, and then this is the CJ5 one. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, I did end up putting just a little bit of a chamfer on the end of this and I'll paint that. Um, it just, it, it could have uh, hit the new master cylinder possibly. So I just went ahead and clearanced it just in case. This, the profile was too big to go into the master and this obviously was too short. So uh, let's take this one over there and we'll throw it on the Jeep. Okay, so that's got the push rod on. And then I wanted to show y'all um, where these pedals end up. So you can see the brake pedals ahead of the uh, clutch pedal right now. But this is more like where it is once the tub's back on. The spring kind of pulls it back some. So uh, I fiddled with the adjustment on that push rod. This is about perfect. I might have to adjust it just a little bit more. Okay, so what does it take to swap a dual reservoir master cylinder into your Willys Jeep and why do you wanna do it? Uh, so as far as modification from stock, I had to lose that bracket, which uh, is a shame and having to notch this frame. I was really hoping to keep this as stock as possible, but like I said, maybe a different master cylinder, you could work around it. So that CJ5 uh, master cylinder bracket made this swap so easy. Uh, this has got to be one of the easiest upgrades I've done so far because of this bracket. Um, you know. All the holes lined up except for these two that I had to drill, which was super easy. Just transfer those holes and drill those. Had to remake that little bracket. That was no big deal. I think it looks great. It looks stock. And I'm just super happy with how this turned out. Um, plumbing is going to be an, uh, a little bit of an issue. We'll cover that in a later video though. So why do you want to put a dual reservoir master cylinder in your Willys Jeep? Well, having two reservoirs means one's feeding the front, one's feeding the back. So if you pop a brake line, you're still gonna have brakes. Um, it's a little bit bigger than stock, look at bigger bore, so you're gonna have better braking power. It just makes the whole Jeep a little bit safer. Like I said, standing, at, standing back looking at this Jeep, you're never gonna know it. I got to keep my pedals in the floor stock, and for the most part, keep the frame stock. This has been a fun upgrade. Uh, like I said, it went really easy. I'm really glad with the way it turned out. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, let me know down below. I uh, appreciate y'all checking out the video and I'll see y'all next time.